personally, when you're when you're that size of a company, when you're a multi-billion-dollar company, you should do the right thing. And and I don't mean not growing GMOs. I mean just act like a responsible citizen. Farmer Chuck Burr says Syngenta genetically modified crops are here, typically rented out plots of land dotting the Valley Farm floor. Syngenta AG is a large global specialized chemicals company which markets seeds and pesticides. It is involved in biotechnology and genomic research based in Switzerland. Syngenta's website says they are one of the world's leading companies with more than 27,000 employees in some 90 countries dedicated to our purpose, bringing plant potential to life. The distance between plots and farms depends on the crop planted and is one of the main issues for farmers because of cross-pollination and contamination of the seeds. Farmers say lettuce and tomatoes self-pollinate and can be only feet apart from each other, whereas corn or beets need much longer distances of separation, up to four miles in some cases. It's okay if our organic fairy dust or pollen gets on a, um, on a transgenetic or GM genetically modified crop, but if a transgenetic pollen gets into our organic crop or even a hybrid crop, uh, we have to destroy that seed because we can't sell it as, as being organic. Burr is part of a local seed association and says Syngenta isn't following the correct distances. We all see where each other are and that way we don't cross each other up. But the, the problem with the out of town um, company or grower is they're not participating. Burr says Syngenta has attended local seed association meetings but have walked out on them before. He wonders why the company isn't willing to pay the $75 association fee and cooperate with local farmers working together in the Rogue Valley. So it's kind of drive-by contamination or drive-by um, unemployment because there isn't a single job in Jackson County that's supported by this activity. And the profits, in fact, not only go out of, out of Jackson County, they, they go out of the country to Switzerland. Emotions grew in the valley and then someone vandalized another local grower and his genetically modified beet crops, which the FBI investigated, calling it economic sabotage. The incident happened in fields owned by Syngenta. The FBI says more than 6,000 beet plants were destroyed. The damage occurred on two separate occasions on two local fields used to grow the beets, owned by Howard Miller. I looked at the field and here were all these plants just helter-skelter all the way down the row. And indeed, somebody had come through and just uprooted the vast majority of the plants. Miller says he only helps to irrigate the crops, but says it's upsetting to see someone vandalize them. With farmers on both sides of the spectrum feeling the heat, one side decided to organize and put it to a vote. If something comes along and takes out a whole s spectrum of their economy, like you can't grow seeds here anymore across the valley from stem to stern, and then that's why they rose up and, and just, you know, collected the, the signatures, I think. Just because it hits home in their pockets, you know. It will all be left up to voters on the May 2014 ballot to see if Syngenta and any non-organic GMO farms will be given a time limit to leave the valley. Covering your news, Air Nielsen, News 10.